Greetings and welcome into this week's edition of Recruiting Hot Topics. I'm Channel 2 Sports Director Zach Klein along with Michael Carvel, the recruiting blogger extraordinaire for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. And Michael, maybe the biggest recruiting news of the week was the twin younger brothers of NFL All-Pro Safety Eric Berry committed to Tennessee. Was this that much of a surprise? No, it wasn't. Now, it would have been a big surprise if Evan and Elliot Berry had committed anywhere else but Tennessee. And that's because both their father and famous older brother, they played in Rocky Top. And yes, the twins who are seniors at Creekside High School, they will be continuing the family tradition at Tennessee. Evan and Elliot Berry are a pair of three-star athletes who could play a number of different positions in college. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Michael, I heard that only Tennessee, Tennessee and Tennessee only, were ones that offered the Barry Twins scholarship. Now, it's hard for me to really fathom and believe this, considering we've been hearing about this pair since middle school. So what's the deal on that? Just one offer? Yes, that is true. And there are several reasons why the Barry Twins were not more highly recruited. First of all, college Whoa. scouts are not sure where they will play in college, although I think they'll end up at safety and outside linebacker. Secondly, some of the other colleges wanted one twin, but not both. And they were a package deal all along, Zach, and that was not an option. And finally, the biggest reason other colleges, well, they really didn't bother recruiting the Twins because everybody felt like they were locks to pick Tennessee, which, of course, turned out to be exactly the case. Zach, it'll be next to impossible for them to live up to yeah. – Eric's name at Tennessee, but I think they'll do very well up there. Yeah, he did pretty well uh, in the volunteer uh, <laughs> nation, getting them fired up in uh, orange and white, and obviously having a successful career with the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, let's switch gears, Michael, to uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, they had something unusual happen this week when a running back from Florida announced, like most kids do these days, on Twitter that he had committed to the Jackets, but it turned out that it wasn't really a true commitment. Can you explain what's going on here? Yeah, believe it or not, stuff like this happens more than you think. And the only reason we didn't hear about it as much in the past is because, like you said, we didn't have all the social media. But yes, a running back from Florida tweeted out that he committed to Georgia Tech, and he's actually a really good player. The only problem there is that Tech, like every other college, they want all of its recruits to spend time on campus and sit down with the coaches, among other things. So this kid, who is a high school junior will, will have to do that before his commitment is even considered. It was just a little miscommunic uh, miscommunication. Well, how do you avoid miscommunication? Uh, since scholarship offers are binding, uh, how does a kid know when he has a real offer as opposed to an offer that just floating out there? And how do you know the colleges then in turn will accept that offer? Zach, those are excellent questions and we could probably do a mini series <laughs> on this topic. Uh, the short answer is very simple. Talk to the college head coach. Some of these college assistants, there's a lot of pressure on them and they try to sell their program so hard that it can be confusing. So a kid will wonder, does this college really want me? Was that a tentative offer or a committable offer? I mean, I get confused talking about it. Bottom line, if you're a kid and you want a direct answer, then have your parents or your coach call the college head coach. They're the guys in charge. They're, they're almost always direct and to the point. And Zach, they make the final decisions on everything. Now, I know coaches, they, there's only certain periods when you can talk to these coaches, but for the most part, these guys are accessible to these college, uh, high school kids that if they were you know, wavering one way or the other, there was indecisive information out there, they could pick up the phone, dial them, and Coach Rick, Coach Johnson, for example, would get back to them. Or Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff, you can direct message. You'll get them done. All right, Michael, as always, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week right here on Recruiting Hot Topics.